What happened to retirement? Hello, Dan. Hi, Terry. <laughs> um, you know what? I stepped away a year ago because I just didn't think my health was allowing me to do the job appropriately. Wasn't for any other reason. I loved being in Cleveland. The people were fantastic, the people I worked for. But I felt like I was kind of shortchanging some people. And I stepped away for a year and kind of took care of myself and had a semi-normal life and did not expect to be interviewing for jobs. But when the Reds reached out and we talked, it just felt right. And that was how it felt the first day in Cleveland. And that's how it felt here. It just felt right. What was it like to wear normal clothes for an entire year? Well, if, if you know me at all, <laughs> that means uh, I, I have three pair of jeans and like, you know, four golf shirts. And But one of the, my favorite things in the whole world is getting to the ballpark, you know, getting in your slide and shorts and your, and your shower shoes and figuring out how you're going to beat somebody's ass that night. That's one of my favorite things. But, okay, sometimes when you step away, you see coaches do this in the NFL all the time, where they'll step away, and what kind of clarity did you get, and how does that help you health-wise of going right back into what you were trying to get away from? That's, a, that's actually an honest and fair question. One, I don't think I'm ever going to have perspective. I, 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 don't, I, I think at this age, wins and losses, they, losses kill me, and that's, I don't think that's ever going to change. Um, I really have tried to take care of myself and get myself in a position where I can do the job appropriately. Now, there's going to be some challenges. I know, you know, we're going to get into the season and late nights and stuff, and I'm going to have to be aware of that. Um, that's the best I can do. I do think I'm in a way better position health-wise where I can actually go do this job. Who did you consult? Um, I didn't talk. I, well, I talked to my three girls and one of my best friends, but nobody, I didn't want anybody to know. And I had told the res guys that too. I said, Hey man, I'd need to keep this. And so they came out to my house and visited with me in Tucson. And we talked for about five hours and right away we hit it off pretty well. And it was a comfortable conversation and my, my palms started getting a little sweaty <laughs> And I'm like, okay, you know, this is this is getting real. What'd the Guardians say? You know what? There's not a person there that you could I you could find that I would say something negative about. They're the nicest people I've ever worked for. Um, like I said, when I stepped down, it wasn't because I was disappointed in people. I just didn't think I was doing the job appropriately. And it was getting harder for me. And I was becoming short on patience just because, you know, when you don't feel good and that's not healthy for a manager. 